Regina Daniel spills some personal things about her marriage to Ned Nwoko. She wrote, Why I always change my mind after deciding to leave my husband. Moving on to the next, we have DJ Switch pens appreciation note to Nigerian youths. She wrote, You guys have made my dream come true. But before I commence fully, welcome to Aproco GCV, a platform where we give you trendy latest updates happening in the world of social media. If you haven't already, do subscribe to our YouTube page at Aproco GCV. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell to get notified. And do follow us on our Facebook platform at Aproco GCV. To all our returning subscribers, much love from we here to you guys. Thank you all for your consistency and support. We do not take it for granted. Now, to all of you, guys, relax, enjoy, and stay tuned. According to Regina Daniels, who is a mother of two, disclosed some personal things about her marriage to Ned Nwoko. She wrote whenever she gets into a heated argument with her spouse, Ned Nwoko, and she feels she wants to leave the marriage, she usually reassures herself to stay put after thinking of him as a good man who is in a bad situation and is trying to get out of it. The senator wife and actress Regina Daniels has revealed what made her stay in her marriage after fighting with her billionaire husband, Ned Nwoko. According to the veteran actress, she usually reassures herself to stay put after thinking of him as a good man who's just in a bad situation and is figuring out ways to get out of it. She wrote, After having a big fight with my husband and I try to leave, I remember he's a good man and he's just in a bad situation and he is trying to get out of it. This didn't go unnoticed by people as they shared their comments in the comment section. Someone wrote, not me seeing this after packing my belongings, but when I remember his styles in bed, I am not leaving again with laughing emojis. Someone also wrote, I beg no move an inch or we plenty waiting for Q day wait with laughing emojis. On to the next comment, someone wrote, but this day she doesn't put on her ring. People will always have opinions to dash out when it's not their situation. Okay, as one of the commenters wrote, she should not move even an inch because people are trooping. Immediately she just said she wants to step out. Those people that criticized her, those people that mocked her and called her a gold digger will be the ones trooping in immediately she says she doesn't want to do again. In any marriage or relationship even, tough times will surely come but tough times doesn't last, only tough people do. I feel like she was just joking about this. How could she possibly leave a marriage with two kids? That's that with that. Now moving on, we have in a heartbreaking quote, DJ Switch stated that she won't see the change coming. However, she is most grateful that the youths made her dreams come true. In her another tweet, DJ Switch joked about the campaign strategy of the Lagos State's incumbent governor, Baba Jide Sonwolu, seeking re-election. Nigerian Dix jockey Obiano Du Catherine Ude, better known as DJ Switch, has pinned down an appreciation note to Nigerian youth for changing the narrative in politics. Recall that DJ Switch, who had been in exile, gained international recognition after she live-streamed the Nigerian army personnel shooting protesters at the Lekki Toll Gate during the nationwide NSAS protest on 20th October 2020. Reacting to how the youth have changed the narrative to some extent in Nigerian politics, DJ Switch, who disclosed that she has always believed that change will come to Nigeria, said the change is needed is still a long way to go, but her faith is renewed. In a heartbreaking quote, DJ Switch stated that she won't see the change coming. However, she is most grateful that the youths made her dreams come true. Let's take a look. She tweeted, I want to say thank you to our vibrant youth. I've always believed change will come to Nigeria, but I would always end that statement with, I know I won't see it, but you guys have made my dream come true. I know it's still a long way to go, but my faith is renewed. Thank you. A very emotional tweet there by DJ Switch. In another tweet, DJ Switch joked about the campaign strategy of the Lagos State Incumbent Governor Baba Jide Somoulu seeking re-election. The governor has employed a series of outdoor campaigns, from visiting churches, hairdressing salons, to showing his skills as a mechanic workshop in order to cagole the citizens of Lagos to vote for him again on 11th March.
In her tweet, DJ Switch wrote, I hear says on Olu don't turn ultra for church. Miracle they tire Jesus who with question marks. DJ Switch on the 20th of October 2020 proved herself to Nigeria and the world that she is an humanitarian by heart by videoing and tending to those who was injured and suffered casualties on the 20th of October 2020. And hopefully the Nigerian that we are all hoping and praying for, we will all live to see it. So guys, if you haven't already, do subscribe to our YouTube page at Apoko GTV. Don't forget to like, share and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss out on trending topics happening on social media. Do do well to drop your thoughts and comments and contributions in the comment section provided for you. Let us know what you think about this. On that note guys, we have come to the end of today's segment. Thank you all for staying tuned with us. We really do appreciate it. Till I come your way next, guys, stay safe.